So hello Khalid. Um, so today we're going to talk about the wireless site survey for our group presentation. So I will be doing this with my colleague Simanta Pandit and myself Manjil Namchane. Unfortunately, we don't have rest of our two members today over here at the moment due to some personal reasons. So they might contact you very soon. And today we have chosen the wireless site survey at the airport for our assignment. So, so this is the actual site survey we found for the airport by the acrylic heat map surveys service. So, oh, in, over here we will have the presentation of how many access points they have in the topology of the airport. Usually they have on the dark green area over there, they have one access point deployed over there and on the right red dark area they have like six or seven access points over there. Due to the 802.11 frequencies, over here there might be the less throughput required due to which they have one access point deployed over here and then and over here there might be higher number of users due to which they have like more access point deployed over here because of the requirement of the higher throughput. And moving on to the next part, I will be talking about the challenges in the airport about the high density of users. So as we all know when the normally users arrive in the airport, there will be like 300 to 400 users together, uh, passengers together waiting for the plane or getting off the plane. So when they are not on the plane, they will be trying to find the access point and connect to the Wi-Fi. I will go. Yeah. So Wi-Fi devices start scanning for the AP by sending the probe request frame to the access point. And when the access point receives the probe request frame, it starts sending the probe response frame to the client devices. So the AP only sends the probe response if the if it supports the SSID configured in the W uh, I mean the Wi-Fi profile of the access point. As there is like a frequent frequent transmission of the probe request and response frame and they are like usually th with the less low data rate that might consume a long year time. The actual effect made is that the wireless medium might get filled with the request and response transmission which will actually impact the throughput uh, actually impact the throughput of the, of the users connected users and the optimize so for preventing such problem we got the optimized connectivity it will provide the enhancement to the reduced problem traffic as we all know in, as you might know the IEEE H2.11 protocol in the traditional ones a probe response by AP is sent to the uh, I mean the way the client makes the AP request then the access point sends a probe response to the unicast address of the client but with the optimized connectivity, the access point sends the probe response to the broadcast address of the client, due to which all the clients receive the probe response and can discover the AP. And AP starts sending the periodic bacon advertisement itself in like 100 milliseconds, due to which by that time the client might scan for the multiple channels in the short period of time because as they don't wait for the beacon set pro at the beginning so the optimized connectivity really says the AP advertising itself from 100 milliseconds to 20 milliseconds for the faster discovery without probing as while connecting to a Wi-Fi there needs to be a full connection establishment um, such as like um, add to authentication and association, EAP authentication, EA poll, and DSCP, which generates many frames in the unidirectional and both bidirectional way. And with the optimized connectivity, also provides fastening setup, like based on the IETF's EAP reauthentication protocol, which helps to complete the connection between the client and the access point in just like four frames over the wireless link. What ERP helps to provide fast authentication, how like how they help is that like they remember the clients that has been authenticated before and in the back end, AA server actually has the data of the client.
client that has already been authenticated. Once the initial connection is established, a subsequent roaming between the APs is achieved using techniques that are already popular and available in today's Wi-Fi networks, such as 802.11R fast transition. So that will be all for me for the high density of users. So now I'd just like to hand it over to my colleague Sibanta for talking about the rest of the part. Thank you. Thanks, Manzil, for handing over the slides to me. So I'm going to talk about the issues regarding, uh, regarding the wireless network and the uh, wireless uh, access points um, that could occur in the airports. Um, so mounting of the access point could be um, a problem in, an, uh, in, in the airport. So the wireless access point can be placed anywhere. This access, uh, the, the this wireless site survey help us to determine where the access point is placed and where it should be placed to avoid the overlap and interface. A airport could have uh, multiple rooms. Uh, it could have and it could have multiple uh, dimensions. So. For example, a airport ceiling might have uh, might maybe eight to twelve feet, but the uh, assembly hall in the airport could be more than twenty feet. The width of the airport could be as required. So it might not be possible to cover the entire area uh, with a common type of antenna. So it might cause uh, the different impacts. Um, uh, in the network. For example, uh, it impacts the radio frequency level at the client's position uh, if it's not considered uh, during the uh, designing. Uh, uh, likewise, um, so the this issue could be solved by using the overhead mounting of the access point. However, implementing the directional antennas and mechanical down till solves the wide coverage of these spaces. Higher the dimensional antennas is mounted, wi uh, wider the cell will be. So, typically, adjustment of three to six dB on the um, transmit power control threshold will be uh, sufficient to increase the power to the required level. So these are the problems that the um, airport uh, could face uh, while deploying the wireless network. Um, so. We have suggested, uh, suggested the uh, different issues uh, and different problems regarding the wireless uh, area network uh, in the airport and including its uh, uh, solutions. So, yeah, thank you.